Thousands of students competing here in North Texas, all with one common goal, and that is to make a huge difference. They are competing in the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair that's going on in Dallas. Our Aaron Jones tonight introducing us all to two local participants who are working on some pretty big things. And eventually it just leads to demyelination, which basically means that... To put it simply... Science and technology depends on, you know, future generations. Widely considered the best and brightest young minds are under one roof this week, attending the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. A photograph of the battery itself. That is what this whole experiment is about. As a Texan, Otto Beale decided to focus on something that many of us worry about, the stability of the state's electricity grid. I think of all the electricity markets in the country, Texas is the state that needs it the most. ERCOT, which manages the grid, says peak demand for electricity this summer will exceed the amount we can generate from on-demand dispatchable power. They'll be relying on renewables. The biggest challenge we need to overcome is not actually generation of electricity, but how do we store it for periods when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. Beale has developed a unique chemistry for a class of batteries known as the redox flow battery, which he says could help. These are some electron microscope images. As for Alana Polyak, she's working to find an affordable cure for MS. It affects nearly one million Americans, including her older sister. My sister was actually diagnosed with MS when I was pretty young. Since she's helped me so much throughout my life and I look up to her so much, I just definitely wanted to see what else I could do. Her study investigates if a type of stem cells found in worms could be used as a cost-effective preventative measure and even cure compared to current human stem cell treatments. In the future, I really hope to further expand the long-term results and also apply it to other neurodegenerative diseases. The students are competing for around $9 million in awards, scholarships, and prizes, all of which will be announced tomorrow morning. Getting money would really help advance not only my knowledge and it would also help advance me. The prize money is one, one reward. I'd say a significant reward is also the experience of doing research and I've learned so much. Both students say just being here puts them on a path to success. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas. They will be our future. Some smart kids.